Hello and welcome um, to the Atten SD8902D uh, soldering rework station review and unboxing. Um, this is just more of an unboxing video. Um, so this station is very similar to the SD862D um, aside from the fact that this station also includes the soldering iron with it. Um, as you can see the specs are pretty much similar to the um, 862D. Um, this is the 1000 uh, watt um, 110 volt model so um, if you have the uh, 200, 230 volt model your model will be the at an SD 8602D um, as you can see it's well packed um, it comes with an instruction manual on top when you open it up um, as you can see everything is neatly packed in there Um, so my unit had a few extra accessories with it. Um, the standard unit just comes with three uh, straight nozzles, soldering iron, um, the rework station, power cord, instruction manual, and the holder for the uh, for the hot air nozzle. So as you can see in, in, in this clip right here, um, this is what you'd get with the standard model. Um, it's your instructional manual, the holder for your soldering iron, the three straight nozzle tips, um, and the unit, and um, your ground and uh, your ground and wire clip. Uh, yeah, the handle is pretty uh, all well built. Um, it has an on off switch that you can use to turn it on or off uh, or cool it down. Um, also, when you automatically place it in the holder, it has like a magnetic mechanism where it will shut off when you have it in the holder. Um, the standard US power cord looks like this. And the soldering iron will plug in directly into the front of the unit and it would come with a standard KU tip which would look like this. And then your ground and wire clip which would plug into the back of the device. Then your instructional manual. Um, and the bent angle nozzle tips and the three extra uh, soldering iron tips that I got in my package look like this. Um, the holder for the soldering iron is pretty uh, sturdy, it's heavy as well. Um, and then you'd get uh, your, your uh, steel wool to clean the, um, your iron tips with. And you can also use this to remove um, the tips, the soldering iron tips, using the holder to remove them. And then the holder for your uh, the hot air gun is magnetic, so. Um, as you can see, there's a magnetic feature that holds it in place. Um, that's what would turn it on and off automatically, and then you can screw that on there. Um, you can rotate it. There's four screws on the bottom, so if you want to put it on the right side of the machine, you can rotate it.
So let's uh, turn it on and take a look what it looks like. Um, so we have the power button on the front. As you just saw it, um, it said U05. That would be your software version or the revision of the device. Um, now it's on. Um, as you can see, the soldering iron is off. Um, the hot air, as soon as we lift the, the handle, um, it would turn on and start. Um, you have two uh, triangular buttons on both sides of the machine. Um, these would control your temperature for the hot air and the solder and iron respectively. So yeah, you have the on off switch here. You can use it to turn it off, on. Soldering iron goes from 200 to uh, 500 degrees Celsius, and the hot air would go from 100 to 500 degrees Celsius. Um, you have a a knob that you can turn for your hot uh, for the airflow, and you have the option of going from zero to 100 on the airflow. And then the blue circular button would be your on off switch to turn off your iron. And then you have three preset buttons, three black ones and three blue ones. The black ones would be your preset buttons to, to set your preset uh, temperatures for your, uh, your hot air. And uh, also the three blue ones would be the set up your preset for your soldering iron. So it does heat up pretty fast and it will also cool down um, pretty quickly as you can see. I'm dropping down right now. Overall, it looks like it's a pretty good purchase and um, pretty much the same size as the, as the 860PD. It's amazing how they can uh, compress everything into it. Um, uh, we'll do a full in-depth review of the performance of the device once we get it all set up and I have some things to work on. Um, as of now, I hope you uh, like our unboxing video of this unit. Um, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.